I'm not going to take too long, but I do have a message that I think may benefit some of you. As you all have heard, I travel a lot. I talk to people about peace. Just recently, I was in Calcutta, and we had a conference of the young people who are going through a official course because one of the things that they discuss in this course is peace, the possibility of peace. So for me, an opportunity to address them and then they got to ask questions. And one thing that I saw is that so many people have different interpretations of what peace is. Now, what do I talk about? What do I offer people? It is very easy and simple to use an analogy of a lamp. To see lit lamps of peace on the borders of Beirut, on the borders of India and Pakistan, Beirut, Israel, Palestine, whatever it may be. But peace is a little more than just lit lamps. And that's what we have to consider. If you take a lamp, the body is made out of clay. On that sits a wick made out of cotton. And in the bowl sits the oil. Now when you see a lamp that is lit, what is it the courtesy of? You have to consider, what is it the courtesy of? If you light the wick, it will only burn for a few minutes, most, and then it will go out. If you try to light the body, you won't be able to light it. It's made out of clay. So if you want the lamp to stay lit and give light for a long, long time, what do you require? You require oil. Oil that you may not actually see. Because all you see is the light. And you think it's the wick that is lit. And yet, all the time, it was the oil that was helping the wick to stay lit so it could give the light. Okay? Very simple analogy. What does it mean? It means that there is a peace that is not just a peace of surface, not just a peace of ideas, not just a peace of conditions, but a peace that goes far beyond all those things. In fact, The peace that we need to get in touch with and the peace that we should be discussing in the world today, around the world today, is the peace whose reflection we would like to see in the borders of the nations. People not fighting each other. That's just a reflection. That's not the real thing. That's a consequence. That will happen because something happened. A mother would like to see her child smile. It's a wonderful feeling. A father would like to see his child smile. And how should the mother go about that? 
take the cheeks and go so the child is sitting there like that take a piece of wood and stick it between the lips or maybe put put two little clothing pins on each side so the child is always what and you see this is what we are trying to do we have created a qualification for peace and that is no wars so we say no wars that's peace no wars is a consequence of something like war is a consequence of something no war is a consequence of something and the consequence is when people people human beings human beings not mr so and so not this person only but human beings every one of us can feel that feeling of peace within us that's what it will take If you want to light this room how do you do it simple you light the bulbs each one of these bulbs is a human being on the face of this earth and if you want peace on this face of this earth you will have to light these lamps these lamps called human being 